So here we are, uh, just about 100 meters away from the building site. It's our first day. Yesterday we went on some walks. The land is absolutely amazing. Um, so Arthur, share your story. About 16 years ago, I came to Brazil just to see a piece of property. This is the piece of property. And I actually about five meters behind me is a rock where I sat when I first came here to see this property. And when I was sitting on that rock, as though I was hit by lightning, a bolt of energy entered the top of my head and went down through my body and into the earth. And I had a knowing at that time that I would buy this property. And when I did that, the whole scene that I could see from sitting on that rock changed. And what I saw was a, like a, a spiritual community, a community of people living in harmony with nature, with buildings made of earth and bamboo and pathways and communal areas and the like. And it, it, that vision stayed with me. I've been working to bring that vision to life and that's what's now happening with yeah. your assistance back down the road, which we should take a picture of for everybody. Yeah, yeah, just uh, Arthur's really, um, he put down, he laid down the roads that cost more than $20,000 just so we could get vehicles up here. The land, is, the land is quite long, I believe it's 10 kilometers around the border. Roughly. Yeah, so it's really 10 kilometers to walk around the land, around the perimeter. So the road across it has been laid out and we can get vehicles right to the side of the property. And now there is another valley that we've just discovered and we took some walks yesterday there's three or four different valleys little spots that like uh, arthur's wife said it's a, it's an empty canvas ready to gather the like-minded souls and people that want to come and heal do the inner healing and uh, grow the food forest gardens grow some cash crops just do what they love as I believe that only by doing what we truly love and what we enjoy that we are going to thrive. So there's many ideas, but everybody does their little piece. So Arthur, with the failure rate, rate of about 95% in the communities out there, why do you think that this community, that your vision and the people that we're going to attract here, and I'm in, I'm bringing Zoya back here either extending my flight now or I'm going to bring her back in February for another workshop here. I fell in love with the property and it's absolutely silent here. You just hear the birds and it's rainforest behind us and there's lots of open land to grow the cash crops, the food forest garden. So Arthur, why do you think it's going to work? And Arthur is a, was a lawyer for many years and uh, besides being a plumber and a few other things. so. <laughs> Um, I think his lawyer background gave him idea of really what crashes with people. Sure. Well, I've seen what doesn't work and I've seen it many, many times from having worked on litigation, principally in California in associations and the like. And so, and I've also seen what, what works. Uh, I've spent some time at the Ananda village in Northern California where they have a community that's been there for 50 plus years and it's a successful model. Um, I think that model may be adaptable to comply with Brazilian law and Brazilian culture as well. Um, it's, it's gonna be a challenge, we know that, but we start with like-minded people with like interests and we're attracting those people now and the more people we get the more we start working together everything's going to be on a trial run basis because until you until you get married you don't know if you're going to have a, a life together or not I mean, people go through those experiences but we're prepared to do the work we've we've been doing the work here and my wife and i have been doing the work with each other for 16 years and uh, even today they missed their Kriya yoga this morning and this afternoon true as Bob they went and did it <laughs> For half an hour they did their session and that was really inspiring because sometimes when I get on busy with my life and I miss my Morning routine. I'm like ah, but then my day goes wonky and then I get all edgy the next day and that I know it's the re result of 
skipping that session. So from, it's starting to rain, so I'm, I'm gonna add a little piece why I think is going to work, because we're going to bring in people here, and if you're one of those that know that we all carry trauma from our childhood, and between Arthur and uh, the avatar process that he will share with us, and Zoe and myself, uh, that Zoe figured out an amazing way to do neural reprogramming with ripping up the old neurons and basically rewiring your circuitry that works it assisted her to quit alcohol after 30 years of drinking and it assisted me to quit marijuana after 25 years of, mar of, of smoking so what we're talking about uh, is a clean community that uh, knows the importance of specific inner work um, and we are going to share that inner work so it is imperative that the people that are going to join the community understand that uh, it's very very important to do the specific inner work that we share with the work that you already know basically to shed your trauma so you can spread your wings and don't have anything that hinders you because when you feel terrible you push another one down so you can bump up. That's how the law of compensation works. Or when you do something you don't like, you will do the same thing. So that's why I believe it's going to work, that we are clear, free of uh, and drugs or alcohol, and we are going to um, show you how we did it and share these processes with you and, and do some communal processes together. Yes, it will work. And it takes, it, it takes a community to raise a community and it takes a community to raise a family. But having people who are willing to, we don't expect anybody to come here to be perfect, but we do expect people to come here who want to make an effort to make it work. And if we all, if everybody comes here with an effort and an intent to make it work, it will work. Yeah, so intent is the most important one. So we invite you for this three week workshop. We just want you to come. So if you feel the resonance with Arthur and myself and what we've got going here, um, that it is a clean community. It's not a sector of any sorts. We are just people who want to grow food, forest, permaculture, garden and, um, and, and thrive on the land, which is all of our visions. So if you are feeling the resonance, come to this workshop, come to this natural building experience where we're going to be learning three building techniques in three weeks. If you can come only for one week, come. Just come, meet each other, 5th of November, for three weeks. It's easy to get here, as you know. 30 seconds at the border control, that's all it took. Just a PCR test, it, it's okay, really, it was fine. I'm aware of at least six natural springs on the property. And how many lakes? At least seven. Well, seven, seven lakes and at least six springs. And all of these was permaculture, contaline terraces. This is going to explode. I think everybody should make an effort to be here. You will never regret it. You'll, You'll never be regret amazed. it. Yeah. And they've, uh, Arthur and Simone, they've got about five buildings on the property, which uh, some need a little bit more renovations, but they've renovated four of those and uh, they're ready to accept people and the town is five kilometers away and there is plenty of low-cost hotels I think $15 yeah. a day and you yeah. can have your own room private with a shower right. and it's only five kilometers away so you can catch a cab here so if you want that privacy but otherwise we're going to be staying on on the land with Arthur making fire playing music we invite you to bring your musical instruments come we welcome you please do